Hello, Questers! It's I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I'll introduce you to these almighty books. The Sasquatch Escape, the Imaginary Veterinary Book 1, and The Lonely Lake Monster, the Imaginary Veterinary Book 2. These books are about two main characters. One named Ben Silverstein, who has visited the setting, the t- his grandpa, a bore his grandpa in a boring town of Buttonville. Ta-da. It is a very boring place, and and uh, there are there are not many young people <coughs> since the but <coughs> since the Buttonville Button Factory shut down. And this is all about the new moved in pe- people of Buttonville Button Factory. You see, one day, one day, he, um, Ben Silverstein's grandfather, Abe's cat, named Barnaby, brings in what looks like a baby dragon. And 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 uh, the baby dragon seems to be hurt, so so he asks Pearl Petal, a known troublemaker quotation marks, in the town to help him. You see, they Pearl Petal too had seen a dragon. I mean, kind of. They they both happened to see look at the sky and see a. Uh, Enor- uh, enormous bird, what seems to be a bird at least, as big as a helicopter with a long tail. And that is quite, you know, dragon-ish. And they had together seen that thing. So, when Ben had found a baby dragon, he no- he his first thing he does is to not tell his, you know, grandfather, and asks her asks Pearl Petal to help him. And they go to the only place in town that is kind of like a pet hospital, Doctor Wu's Worm Hospital. There they meet they meet the bizarre man Mr. Tubby, who apparently enjoys eating hamsters. And they give Mr. They give Mr. Tabby the dragon, which was all, which was known as a baby weaver. And they 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 um. They began to know that fantastical, mythical creatures existed in the world. But they left the door unlocked, and a Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot, got out into the known world which means you know our world and now it's and now it's up to them meaning Bell and Silverstein on Pearl Petal to find the missing Sasquatch. That's the first book and that's a Sasquatch. It's very 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 hairy and very smelly. Ouch and now that da, 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 the lonely lake monster this book well it's quite you know same you see at the end of this book dr wu invites the two pearl petal da, 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 and ben silverstein to be her apprentices so they are thrilled because they know there is a whole imaginary world and there there are fantastical and magical creatures. And uh, they at, they were very excited for their first day, but they were equipped in clipping the Sasquatch's toenails. Ew. But but uh, throughout the win- through the uh, through the window they see a lonely lake monster. Who look like this? Looks like a Loch Ness monster, personally. Uh, 
and yeah, and and th and then things kind of backfire when Ben Silverstein is taken by the monster and take to the middle on Buttonville Island. See, this is Button Lake, and it's inside the Buttonville. Buttonville Button Factory's grounds, and it's now Doctor Wu's Worm Hospital. And Button Lake has a, how do you say, has the it's very peculiar inhabitant, meaning this monster. And it has a little island in the middle, Button Island. And Ben Silverstein is taken and put onto that island. And when he tries to leave, oh no 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 no, the lake monster doesn't let him, and it's because the lake monster is very lonely, and so Pearl Petal has to go to the rescue. At first, she she tries to get the secret patient of the hospital, a leprechaun who can make wishes come true, to help her. But apparently, the le leprechauns. Um, magic was caught because she he had a head cold. So she she got an idea and went to the went back to the doll. She got a mirror and went back. She thought that the lake monster needed a friend, but it didn't necessarily have to be real. She she the lake monster just as well might see her own the its own reflection. Ta da! In the mirror, and so. It might think it has a companion, and this plan worked. And Pearl Petal kind of saved the day, and Doctor Wu thought the whole plan was ingenious. So they didn't get fired by disobeying the rules. So and so. And yeah, oh, the Sasquatch was one when he was. It was loose. It was kind of having some fun. Tada! See. My gosh, he's wearing a sunbonnet from a, from the oldest person in Buttonville. He's riding a shopping cart. Holy moly! And that's the end of my book coaster session. Ah,、uh, yeah. This series is pretty good, but maybe, well, the third book might be more. How to say? Thrilling because this doesn't have the real danger of being killed. You know what I mean, right? And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester. Bye bye, my friends.